Hi, so today's video is going to be really really important for those people who are planning to take the fall classes as online because of this whole pandemic. And now let me talk about whether you are going to be allowed to get CPT or not after completing two full semesters of your program. If you take fall classes online and you do not go to the US. So let's get straight to the point. It may be or may not be. Why? Some of the universities are allowing you to get CPT even though you're doing one semester from your country and then going to the US after one whole semester you're allowed to take a CPT for the summer internships or for some work outside but some universities are not allowing you to do so for example if you take the fall classes online that semester won't be counted towards your CPT and you will have to enter the US from the next semester that is spring and then two steps of semesters will be counted for the CPT and you will be allowed to get CPT authorization only after three whole semesters. Well, how am I so sure of it? So for that, what I did was mail different universities. So a lot of people were asking me these things in my DMs and also I directly mailed Northeastern's, my academic advisor and I asked her if the classes become online from fall because of this whole pandemic and uh, will the students will be allowed to go for summer 2021 internships or not because they might not get CPT because you need to be present on campus for two whole semesters for that to which she answered yes Northeastern will be allowing them to get CPT authorization even though they have completed one whole semester online but on the other hand I asked my friend who just got into RIT Rochester Institute of Technology to ask his university about what's the situation and they updated him that if the fall semester is online then you would not get CPT authorization even if you go after fall to the US. You will have to complete two whole semesters in the US on ground and then only you will be allowed to get CPT authorization and thus they won't be able to do any summer internships later on. So some universities are allowing you to have CPT even though one semester you're taking online and some are not. So it's completely dependent on the university that you decided to go with. So if you have any doubts, please mail your universities. I can't mail each and every universities and have their data. So you can do that. So if you're planning to like now, you know the answer for RIT and Northeastern, right? So now if you're planning to go to some other university, please mail them and ask them about this whole situation. It can totally vary based on the universities. I'm really thankful that Northeastern is providing this facility to the people if fall classes become online due to the pandemic. I'm really, really thankful for that and I'm really grateful that Northeastern is doing such a good job. But RRT on the other hand is not providing it. I'm sure they have their own reasons. So whichever university you go to, please mail them and ask them about this. Okay, this is really, really important because getting summer internships or work experience when you're over here in the US uh, is really important for you to add some experience to your resume and also, you know, uh, get better opportunities later on in the career. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this small video cleared your mind about what is really going on. This whole thing is pretty contingent based on the university that you choose. So you will have to mail your, your particular university about it. It can't be generalized as such. So thank you so much for watching. Please share this video as much as possible because the people who are going to take fall online classes will otherwise suffer if they do not know this particular detail. Let them know the entire details and then only let them make the choice. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.